All right, Merry Christmas, uh, Major Freak. Let's take a look at the uh, the recent uptick in player numbers. Now, I want to uh, say that we all like to see upticks, right? Even a bitter vet like me. But let's get realistic here. Um, the goal of CCP is to tell a tale of improvement and evolution and long-term plans and they never really used to have that uh spiel except they started it uh with the whole quadrants thing yes we have this grand plan um which turned out to be absolute well if you read it it's apples plus oranges equals pears and you're like that that made no sense in hindsight why did we buy that bs um they talked about conflict drivers. They know what a conflict driver is. No, they don't. Um, if you look at the statistics for combat in EVE and ships destroyed, it tracks perfectly player count. The more players, the more combat, the more, you know, the conflict players are the conflict driver. But CCP likes to think they are the ones who control the spigots of conflict drive and everything else, blah, blah, blah. Now, player count in EVE is based almost entirely on seasonal variations. You'll have dips in certain periods and rises in certain periods. It's just, it's just like clockwork. Um, and their EVE expansion for Uprising coincided, I'm sure they counted on that exactly, on, uh, on the seasonal uptick um, in winter and let's let's go prove it um so january or you know christmas christmas this is it's kind of hard to tell because it's pretty much even isn't it uh where is it october November, december 7th so that's a downturn so i'm wrong there um But this is, of course, um, <laughs> this is, of course, the f the first the first Christmas of um, COVID. So we've got to take that into account. Let's go back further. All right. So the downtick will happen in June, August, and then upticks, and then we'll find the other one. Uh, October, November, December, right? So January, right? So let's go back. December fifteenth, January third, and uptick December from Christmas, right? So this was the space of pretty much where I was wrong, quote unquote. So let's go back to see January, you know, upticks September because people go to school. You know, and I don't know why that was lowest there. But yeah, it's generally an uptick during the winter season. Um, and you can track there. It's it's reliable. Um, August and November. So there's an uptick right there. Uh, back there. Let's go. Okay, so here it is. there but it does uptick until then right so there's there's definitely a downtick in summer or september and it upticks till christmas september uptick right uh september uptick a bit and yeah i mean you just july uptick so it's it's july see july uptick right so it's let's see now december november so that was a real it went up when did it go up halloween and then it just plummeted but it does uptick um <laughs> rapidly in at the end of the year it there's just an it there is an uptick 
a reliable uptick, right? October and then yeah, it just it just is, um, and we've noticed it for a very long time. October, see all the way, yeah, see, it just keeps it just keeps doing that. It's reliable, and they waited this long. I sorry to be pessimistic in order to take advantage of, hey, look, there's a resurgent because of our expansion. It's like, no, you're just taking advantage of the seasonal thing. Remember during the COVID, they had the gall to say, oh, our 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 quadrants are drawing people back. Or no, 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 it was, um, what was it? They did the, uh, they started doing the daily login rewards. And they were like, look, it's because of our great game that, no, it's like you just gave login rewards and people were starting to, and they were like, oh, yeah, the players are great. You know, new players, are blah, blah, blah. And the login times, are blah, 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 were great. And then during COVID, they were like, oh, yeah, because of our new, I forget, maybe it was the quadrants or something. Anyway, whatever. It was like they took credit for what COVID, ever, all the games were upticking, of course. But they took literally explicit credit for, you know, we're doing a great job because, and it was like, you, that is just the most... Raven, ah, words fail you, right? But yeah, um, I'm glad the seasonal uptick is here, but we are seeing a downtrend, and we're gonna see lower. I'll, I'm going to make make a prediction. This summer coming up, when there's usually you know some summer of the September or August, July, or you know. At that point, this it'll dip below 20k. Let's make a prediction. It's pretty reliable. It might take two years to get there, because it, you know, I mean, this this is a track of it's been six years since it was, was from here, so yeah, you know, because here it was 2019, here it was two years later, right? So. It might take two years for it to dip below 20k, but it's going there. So we've got the seasonal thing. Let's not get too excited that it's going to uh, go to the moon because of their new expansion, which did what? Like, I'd like it that they improved faction warfare, but at the same time, I can't really speak to it because I don't do faction warfare, you know? So... It's like when they're introduced wormholes, great, but I don't partake in it, you know, um, so I can't speak to it, uh, but it certainly didn't take us to the moon, did it? Anyways, so yeah, that's my prediction. I think it's going to down tick and go to um, below 20k uh, either this summer or next summer coming up. I mean, you know, next summer, uh, two years from now next summer. That's my prediction. It'll dip below 20k.